I'm not ashamed to say that I'm in between a bus-loving masochist and a car-loving masochist. During road trips, I love driving on the highway if taking a coach service or train is not feasible. The driving environment outside the city is just so surreal and amazing. But compare that to driving in the city with lots of cars and people, the experience went from very positive to extremely negative. I live in a very car-centric country, Canada, and occasionally some of my daily trips involve car trips. Needless to say, I hate driving in the city, especially during rush hours. However, many people around me don't get the concept of driving and commuting by car, so this video is here to differentiate them. Driving is a part of commuting. It is also independent from commuting from time to time. When it comes to commuting, it means traveling from your house to a place on a regular basis. With this definition, commuting does mean traveling to a place frequently like school, work, or any other location that you visit more than 3 times per week. Commuting involves multiple modes: driving, biking, walking, taking public transit, multimodal, crawling. Is that even a mode of commute? On the other hand, Driving is a part of commuting. This is where commuting includes driving. But driving also involves driving out of the city on road trips, driving as a delivery driver, or for other purposes other than going to your regular destinations. This is part of driving where it is separated from commuting. A person can enjoy a drive on a road trip to another town or city because of the landscape, the beautiful roads, or the vibes which makes them enjoy driving. They love the cars. and the environment and atmosphere that the car is put into in this case driving is seen as a hobby or something to do during your leisure time and many drivers are also car lovers they collect models of cars they read magazines about cars attend car shows happily sharing about their cars and are really enthusiastic and energetic when they get to share their car knowledge just like some of us with urban planning on the other hand we have commuting by car this can involve being the sole driver or carpooling with somebody to work sometimes both this usually happens at the same time periods throughout the day when commuters leave their home for work and come back home after their work day this is when the car is not a hobby it is used as a means of transportation and to some people it is their only possible option that can guarantee them jobs access to employment education and other basic needs Of course, since workplaces and companies start and end their workday at roughly the same time, mostly around the circle of 9 to 5, those commuters leave their homes and offices at approximately the same time, creating increased waves of traffic, and we call that rush hours. This is where things get funky. Traffic starts backing up junction after junction. Your car speed is reduced to the speed of walking geese, and emotionally You start developing mixed feelings of getting frustrated with the traffic and worry or anger that you cannot make it to your destination on time. In many cities, people try to avoid the rush hour or the heavy traffic by leaving earlier, but when many people start doing the same thing, it turns out that the leaving early ends up to be leaving on time, stretching the rush hours to be unnecessarily long. Car commuters don't understand a very simple thing. they are not stuck in traffic they are traffic and of course the only solution to traffic is having comparable alternatives to driving but given the proportion of automobile commutes in many canadian cities it is quite easy to say that it's nowhere near comparable they're slow they're stuck in traffic they don't really take you anywhere you need to go which further adds to the problem of crowded streets and roads with empty buses This makes people have stigmas against public transit, and some suburbanites even demanded the services to be shut down. Yay! No more buses, and the congestion problem is solved. After comparing these two definitions, do you realize there's a difference between them? There are two things that I believe we can and should all learn from this differentiation. The first one is, if the roads are in good condition and the traffic flow is low, the experience of driving will create joy. Obviously, it is totally different. from the road conditions in many cities especially during rush hours roads are clogged the commute gets longer and the stress level increases 
There had been a lot of proven correlation that an increase in commuting time will reduce satisfaction and the longer commutes will add more chances for mental health concerns to escalate. The second one is, not every commuter out there loves driving. It is the design of cities that force them to drive, which further decreases their happiness in life and their satisfaction with their job and the places they live. Active commuting has been found to be more relaxing and exciting than commuting by car. But for many people, that is not an option due to the lack of infrastructures. Driving and commuting by car are two different concepts, just like cyclists and commuting by bikes. Unfortunately, our car-centric societies forced everyone to drive and make it become the dominant mode of transportation. This creates the norm of commuting by car in the workplace, and sadly, it resulted in people not driving being left out or considered different in the room, or even to a more extreme level of being laughed at or teased just because they cannot or choose to not drive to work. But if you apply a bit of critical thinking and reflect back to your car commute to work and your road trip experiences, you should be able to see that there is a huge difference between two fairly similar activities. To end this video, we know about people commuting by bikes being made fun of from not just bikes video. And so I have a question. What if car commuters receive the same treatment for driving to work? I'll leave that for you in the comments. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.